able to compare results very much. And and then after that, we will hopefully you have an understanding of what models are in deep learning and in, in class. Okay, so in in the in the in the in the program sheet, I have uh, coded two models so you can switch around and play with them. Okay. So I just want to, the other one I want to do is to set up the expectations. So I'm going to teach you the code here. So you will not be learning how to do the class code one by line. So none of that. So I'll just give you the code. You you will just run it. We can discuss the code up to that. You can ask questions on that, but the coding won't be there. And there will, it will not be a lecture. It's just hands-on. So you just, you will, you will, you upload files, you'll run it and then we'll discuss. Okay. So hopefully we can get a form of a discussion going on. And because this is a small program, so you should not expect it to work uh, as the state of the art. Uh, it will not run a, on a, it's not an industrial program. You cannot use it to go and color all the photos in the world. No, you know, it's just a demo, okay? Uh, so this type of model uh, arrived from research a few years ago, so maybe four or five years back. Now. This was the type of uh, research. That so right now, of course, the it's our, it's our model program being superseded by more and more uh, programs and more more features and and they are very uh, the number the layers are, are much more than what we do now okay and this is this model is the is the basis that you can use to improve on and people have used this uh, a lot of things you can swap out and swap in and then you can improve it and play around with it if you know how to do that now but this is a starting point okay so so that's the expectation set. So uh, yeah, so I, I need to give you a link. Okay, so uh, just stop this for a while. I will put up a link to share to share the worksheet with you. Okay, uh, you probably will make a copy of it now for yourself. So uh, so I'll put it on the chat there. Okay, so this uh, collab research Google is on the chat there. So you click it, you should be able to uh, assess assess the file like this. Uh, okay, so you should be able to assess this page here. Um, probably you make a copy, make a copy, and then uh, run them. Uh, so. Um, so let me just have some feedback if you manage to assess this page. So, um, so this is the network that we will build a code, but let's just deal with the, tech, the, the, the procedure to run this code now, okay? So, um, yeah. So, so to, to run this, you have to log in with your Gmail account to the collabresearch.google.com. Then uh, once you have the page there, you can go and select runtime. Select the runtime for GPU. You can select CPU as well. By we store so you the runtime. So uh, then on each individual cells, you just click the run. Click this triangle, this triangle button one by one in each of the cells. If you have used uh, Jupyter Notebook, it's the same concept. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a hosted Jupyter notebook style. Okay, so so we're back to this. If you can access this, you connect the runtime, change the runtime type, and then do a connection, do a reconnect here, and and then so this page some the page has got text and code mix up. So you you run the ones with the code. The one that text you don't need to run, you run the run. So when the circle with the triangle comes out, you can click and run. Do it step by step first. So you will need to upload your data file. So the this from this cell here, you go and you click the run, you click the run, the run will ask, then the browse, browse button will appear. You click browse and then upload your file. So I forgotten to mention the other time, uh, your zip file must be within a folder called data set. So you should have a folder name data set and your image under this folder, zip the folder. You must zip the folder, not the individual images. Okay, so uh, 
let's may have some feedback. Okay. Either through chat or some other. So are you following? Uh, hello, any any feedback so far? So far so good, okay. So yeah, I'm I hope that you, you are building the files, they are placed within a, in a folder, okay? If not, it won't work. You can upload it, but it, it, it won't work. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So so after you have you have uh, uploaded after you uploaded you you uh, run this uh, extraction. Okay, extract the zip file. So you should see a list of files that you have. So they should be placed under data set. Okay. So you should see something like this data slash slash your image name. I, I see uh, Ahmed, you can't here, hear anything, here. is it? Uh, did you accidentally mute our uh, us? Let me have a check. Okay, uh, from my end, I didn't see you have any output. Uh, or input from your mic system because I can't I, I I can't see any icon on your interface. Do you mind to check your computer input? Bottom left, somebody is top. Mine is on the top left. Not necessary bottom left. Yeah, Ahmed, and now I can see your input of the mic icon. You can check your audio as, uh, again. So, uh, every, every good, so you can unzip and print out the list of files that you have. Okay, Ahmed. So how are we doing? We are able to list the files that you uploaded. Oh, this one. I think you didn't upload, right? I think you didn't, you didn't upload, no? Karen. Yeah. 
you have to click this run cell, then you press the browse. I have enabled multiple screen uh, sharing at once. So you guys, are, if you found any error, you can directly show to Dr. Luke. The link is in. I'll just reshare the link. Okay, so the, those who have so done means that you can list the list the files, right? Okay. Okay, so uh, next, so if you have done that, so next is just to run the next cell. Uh, and then this one, this, this cell here, check image is uploaded, it will display an image. So just uh, make sure that you can display the, the image. Just make sure you can display the, the image. Check that the uh, one of the image can be displayed. Yeah, okay. So, so if the image display is okay, then you can run step. So, so that means your files have been uploaded correctly. So now you can run the training process. So you run the next cell called process image. And uh, this will convert it, just convert the file format. And then uh, next one, so you, you, you can run, you keep keep running it, except that you, you select to run model one or model two, either one, not both. If you run both, then the model two will supersede the mod, mod, model one. Okay, so, uh, so run each cell one by one, except, for model one, two, you choose either to run model one or model two, lah, okay? Then you, you can just proceed on, you can proceed on uh, on each cell, okay? Until you run to the fitting the model, okay? So fitting the model, the, the number of epochs, has, the number of epochs uh, 
the number of epochs have been set to 30, you can change that. Been set to 30. So this is actually the epochs. Uh, is actually the how many rounds you want to run the training set through the neural network model. Okay, so you want to train, you want to train how long, how many, how many rounds. Okay, so one of the indicators of uh, how many rounds is to look at the loss. Okay, to look at the loss, the loss as it runs should be decreasing. Okay, it should generally be decreasing. Uh, lower and lower. La. So, so for example, you can see here it's 0 0.091. So at at the lower end, it drops to 0 0.082. Right? It should be it should continue. It will it will bounce up and down, but the trend should be should be decreasing. La. If the moment that, that that decreasing trend is lost, that means you have overtrained. You have uh, too many epochs, so you should reduce the number of epochs. Okay, so this is a, just a, a general guideline. So if you reach up to here, you can start off with 30 first to trial, 30 or 15, is right? So make sure that you have you are connected to the runtime, right? Connected to the hosted runtime, and your your runtime you have selected is the GPU runtime. Uh, okay, so. So tell me, uh, what's your what's the progress, right? Yeah, yeah, eight man. Okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, forty nine. I don't know how many epochs have you run, but once you've done the training now, you've done the training now, then you can go and load your test file. Okay, your training is done. You you, you want to test your model that you have trained, so you load the test files. And then run through the rest. Uh, you you unzip the test file again, and then and then you run through the predict here. You run through the predict here. So this will will predict the colors for your test files. So your test files would be in color, but the program will strip off the color. Okay. Then you put back a new layer of color. Then you can compare. Then you can compare the results of the color put in by the the, the model okay so you can see whether the model has learned how to color the images correctly or not okay so let me just have your feedback yeah yeah so you have you have run through all this run all, all the fitting now just go and load a test file a set of test files again the test files test file test dot zip uh, must have a test folder, okay. All test images should be should be inside the test folder. Okay, I didn't mention that earlier when I sent the email to you. So there was a oversight there. So your your test images inside the test folder. Zip the test folder. Upload it. Then unzip it. Run the Predict code and then run the run the the image display so that we can check and see whether so once you you have uh, run that let's just have a look at the share your share your screen and let, let's have a look and see what kind of results that you have. Yeah, so if you have done, uh, share your screen and uh, let's have a look at the result that you have. You have um, how many people in this group? Uh, uh, we wish. Nine. Okay. Nobody has MacBook. Nobody using Mac here. Okay, so when you're ready, let's have a look.
at the, the results. So this, this group ran quite quite fast with, without much problem. Mm -hmm. Can I see? You didn't share. Or the, uh, or the, the chat there, is it? Yeah, let me see. Vincent, is it? Is it Vincent? You share the error. Huh? Who, who is sharing this thing? Uh, Vincent sharing the arrow at if one is the one talking to you. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how can we share the screen multiple simultaneously. I just changed the setting to one screen at once. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, in one, you can share the screen again. Yeah, yeah, I think Vincent, you're using a Mac, is it? I think the, the earlier session we had the same problem. Yeah, uh, Dr. The, Luke, you the, can try unlook your screen and I, I let the Iman ones go up. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, Iman, you can try and share again. Why? Oh, yeah. Listen, never used a Mac Yeah, no picture. You lower down, scroll down. Oh, uh, no, no color at all. No color. I think no color, right? How many, how many epochs did, did, did you run? How many epochs did you run? How many rounds? Scroll, scroll. Up. Okay, uh, 30. Mm. You can try to do the training again. Okay, let me see the training again. Scroll down, scroll down. See the training down. Okay, stop. Okay, can you, can you increase the number of epochs so instead of 30, change it to 50 or 60. You can see uh, my screen, right? There is uh, there's some color there, right? You can see my screen, there's some color. This Ubuntu, I don't know. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Hi, this is Vincent. Finally get my mic working. Mm. My data set is from Kendall. Uh, yes, I'm able to... Can I hear you, uh, Vincent? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now can. Yep. Let me share my screen. 
Okay. Wait, I stop mine. Okay. Share your screen. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, can you all see my screen? Yeah. Yep. So, so I, I was able to display the first image. Can you can you click on the data set there? Uh, the left side. The left side. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, all here. Yep. So, can you scroll down and see? Maybe there's some something wrong with one of the image. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, let me sense. trace out which image is. Uh, how to say that this one? How to tell? So you print all. How are you going to print all? You, you cannot print all. You want to print all, you go down the. You. In, anyway, the, the. Using. Face uh, it's not a good, you cannot color the face very well. But okay. anyway, you want to print print everything. You you can go go down there to the, the, the test, the last section there. Go down to the last, last cell. Section. Yeah, the last cell. Yeah, this one, this one, yeah. The this uh this one, this one print print everything. Yeah. So you just change the list directly to data center. Uh, the dot there okay. change data set. Yeah. No, you got nothing there because there's nothing there. So change the dot to data set. Yeah, you print you print about 200 images. I won't print all. Yeah. Don't know what's wrong, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 200, how many, Maybe, how many images do you have? Uh... In, many images uh, I think this is just a subset of my images so let me see but anyway color face is not a crew you will not you will not be able to color face very well yeah, this is the data set I'm working on in yeah you're doing face, face recognition is it yeah I, I try to guess the age of uh, face I'll try to guess the age uh. Very tough, very tough uh, thing now. Uh. I yeah, think my so phone also got uh, my. Huh? <laughs> I would get like forty something. Actually. It's 40 not a career at all. Uh, no way to guess the age. Uh. But what's the what's the objective of guessing the age? Mm. How do you want to use it? Because we we are doing some retail solution, right? So mm. they they want to get get the uh the age group. Based on the camera feed. So they want to sell based on age group? Is that right? Yeah, I think last time, yeah. Uh, last time I see the vending machine, they have this face. Uh, they detect your age so that you're underage, they don't sell you cigarettes or al alcohol or something like that. <laughs> but these sort of things is very frustrating to use. Yeah. Uh. And the more from the but you can use it for marketing now. Yeah. It's not accurate at all. Because no way. La. I mean, even if we our human eyes, we also cannot guess uh, how you expect the how you expect the computer to be able to guess. There's no way. Because the range of human beings, uh, the age, uh, the range is very wide. Yeah, even I said like uh, 10 years old, right? The accuracy mm. will be like 40 something percent. You can you can you can do age groups uh, maybe teenager middle age old age that kind of stuff no? but to guess the specific year is not possible i, I i'm doing each group but it's just from from the cameras right uh it's very hard to get the facial ranking correct correct it's very hard so how how far are you with this uh what what have you done so far with it I mean, what algorithm have you? You see, what, what I'm using is uh, I'm using the open video uh, uh, 
algorithm to capture the face first, then do the ranking, mm. then uh, then then guess the age. How do you do the ranking? Uh, facial ranking. And yeah. just use the, the there's an open below. Uh, that's the default uh, ranking that I, I just uh, apply that one. Open video. Uh? Open Vino, the Intel Open Vino. Oh, I've not used it. I've not heard of it. Open Vino. Open Vino. For, for How do you spell that? O P N V I N O. This is a framework for their Movidia stick. Can, can you say again? I didn't catch. Can, can you type in the chat and see what's that? Open? Open we know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. What what company are you with? Uh, may I know? Uh, Maxis. Maxis, ah. Uh? Your your sound is not very good. Can you say again? Or maybe you type there. Uh, I, I think, uh, Winston, you send the chat to me only. You can change the chat to everyone. So uh, Dr. Luke can see. Okay. Oh, Maxis. Okay. Mm. You, I'll try use the uh, sample data set that uh, you provided. Okay, you can try that. You can try that. The one sure will work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But the sample data set is only CSV file. No, this is not my. This is not not product. Maybe this is the default one. From to get my, you must go to the link there and and, and download it and upload it back. Right at the top there. Right at the first. First, first cell. First, right at the top, the, where the where the diagram is. Oh, okay. There's a link there. Ah, this one. This one. You, you download that and then upload it back up. Huh? Okay. So your screen is being shared. You can unshare the screen. Huh? Uh. How do I? Movidus, uh, Movidus is good for inferencing, uh, I guess, but you still need to train it on, on another machine. I don't know whether they are supporting it or not. I don't know. I'm not trying. Um, people who do the, the coral one, I think. Isn't it? Um, how many interested uh, to to do more like, I think Jason, Vincent, and who else? Huh? So anybody interested to work further on this computer vision stuff? Like me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 uh, we maybe form a, a next, uh, since you're all involved in this, uh, maybe we can, Form a, a sort of informal group la, to keep in touch la, and then share information and stuff like that. La. Yeah. Okay. But how many of you actually doing this TensorFlow Keras programming? Or what 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 platform are you you using? Like Vincent say, use the Open Vino. How about is it Vincent or is Jason? Sorry. Um. Vincent yeah. and and who, who else? What what platform are you using? Uh? Vincent and Karen. Uh, we, we I'm I'm mainly I'm using uh Keras because I always use the other people's models. Uh. 
Oh. I don't really train my own model. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Um, let's um, have some informal group so that we can share and discuss. And then maybe we can do your own model. I know it's more fun if you can create your own model. Um, so, uh, Karen, you say you use PyTorch. Um, so, what what do you use it for? What sort of application? What, what, what sort of things you doing with PyTorch? Object detection. So, what algorithm are you using for the object detection and for what? For what use? Huh? What, why do you want to do object detection? Oh, mass R and mass R and 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 what do you want to do? If, what do you want to use it for? Why don't you use YOLO for your object detection? Yeah, I know you're doing segmentation localizing, but what in what application area? Like I want to use this object detection for fish and, and we can do some. Mm. Auto for annotation too. But is it a business tool or is it just for research? So you're given a, an image, you, you write down the name for the object. So how, how is this being used in the business sense? And, and may I know, Karen, uh, which company are you from? Hi, I thought, I thought instead, yeah. <laughs> Is that huh? okay? I, What's I, that? I unmute myself, I thought instead. Is that okay? Can, sure. I mean, yeah, we're waiting to hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from Graphical. We are... Um, 3D modeling company. Uh, they did, uh, but yeah, we are in geospatial area. So the uh, annotation, yes. So the annotation tool more for like um, we have we have images, but we turn into 3D, and then mm. we want to do auto annotations of objects inside the 3D mm. model. So this geospatial currently are maps now. Yeah, are they maps? Is is your location? Is your reference? Yes. So we not just want to do the object recognitions and localizations. We also want to be able to do the the geo locations, uh, geo coding thing. Okay. So what kind of objects are there that you? What are the common objects that you 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 want to recognize in your application? We have two. We have two scene, indoor or outdoor. So for indoor, it will be like the furniture. Um, mm. I see. Indoor with furniture. Uh, I see. And 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 outdoors will be like buildings. Outdoor. And outdoor will be on road. Right? Road scene first, uh, outdoor because uh, there are huge, huge uh, amount of use cases. It can be on agricultural, uh, it can be uh, on uh, city urban urban usage. Mm, uh, mm. Road road scenes, um, like for yep. example, for yep. even for the facial human, all these are also quite uh, one use case by itself already. So, so how do people use those? I want your or uh. I noted it. Once you annotated it, how do people use it? What what do they use it for? So they know the outdoor scene. You have marked the cars and the, what are the roads and things like. How do people you use it? Uh, um, let me see if I can. <laughs> or indoor. How do people use it? You mark the furniture and all. How how would it? Oh, be actually, useful for? actually, you you can think it like for asset management. 
So for uh, yeah, for the whole building, let's say for a condo, for a corporate company that have a lot of buildings, um, mm. let's say for Singapore Capital mm. Land, they have a lot of properties, mm. right? Each each of mm. the properties, if they want to tag the asset, is uh, sometimes it's very uh, tough. So mm -hmm. in, in fact, all the information that they can tag is not uh it's not in visual mode it, it probably in a how do i say it? in a 2 d format like in a row of information how where is the in where is the asset in that locations uh if you using our tools then they all can see it uh in oh, 3D but mode. they need to be like very accurate whole, right if, mm, hmm. accurate may not necessary let's say for indoor yes for outdoor there can be just a mm. point of locations mm -hmm. where where the mm. information is uh, actually it's mm -hmm. not just uh object that we specifically need to need to do but then we also allow a uh, annotate of other information um for example iot data like where is all the cctv in mm. the building so uh, they just had at a point and then we can show all the all the streaming. Mm. But, but once you but know right, where all the but, CCTV, this is also for asset tracking. Uh. This is a, a special type of annotation tools that you can tag a lot of information on a map. Uh, and mm -hmm. okay, it's right. 3D okay. and it's 3D. 3D, meaning that uh, it's not the object, it's 3D, the location is 3D. Because you do a the whole thing is The whole thing is 3D, for example, the whole city lesson of KL, we can do it in 3D. Mm. 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 Oh, that's, that's very interesting. Something that is seldom use i think seldom talk about yeah, <laughs> yeah actually my challenges is on how to map the 3d pixel xy into a 3d locations xyz because the z is not all, uh, from the image so oh i see so you you actually use an image say for z so you only get the x and y you don't know where the z is uh. Yeah, that that needs uh, some calculations to do it, but it's not accurate. My challenge mm. is there mm. to turn the two D X Y pixel into three D coordinates. Mm. Mm. No, that sounds very interesting. Also, uh, how long have you been working on this? Uh, about six months to nine months now. Hmm, that's a very long time. It's yeah, um, and not a lot of uh, research paper that I can reference with codes ready. Uh, in terms of mm. 3, 3D, a lot are on, on 2D. Uh, a lot are on like those image recognitions are pretty stable. But when mm. it comes mm. to 3Ds, there is still a lot to work on. Let me just uh, try to understand again. The 3D is actually the... The position of the object, right? You're trying to fig figure out. That's where the 3D is. is, no, is, that, uh, is that right? If you use the Google map before, right? It's always 3D, right? Google map, uh, don't know whether it's 3D it's, or not. It's, no, it's 2D. It's always 2D. Mm, yeah, so 2D. Imag imagine yeah. all of the buildings and stuff are become 3D. The whole map uh, so is 3D. Mm. So 3D is a height, nah. Yes, with the height and, and, and with 360 dimensions, you can see different angle and all the images are all the things are just pop up. It's yeah. 3D, 3D view. Right. So so but if you if you make maybe we can discuss this offline. We are talking too much on this one. Maybe we have a chance to discuss this again sometime. Because uh, your depends on your whether you are how you source the the image, right? If you if you take your the image on your own, then 
I think you can calculate the, the height now. But if you're using this image not from your own source, not from your own camera, then maybe the information is lost. Huh? Yeah, I think we can discuss offline because it's live on Facebook. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's we we can discuss this again offline. We see how. Uh, so um, Jason also is working actively on object detection and facial recognition, a whole lot of things. Um, can Jason tell us a little bit about the work that you do? Is Jason there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, yeah. Uh, so basically, most of it are uh, my self projects. Uh, like, I go and uh, lots of places. Like, uh, in most of them are in KL uh, because I can travel more on KL area. So uh, basically, I join lots of organizations such as uh, Kuala Lumpur School of AI or maybe uh, the Google uh, communities and so on. So most of them, I try to learn how they do the so-called these computer vision stuff, uh, right? For example, mm. like IoT mm. or machine learning mm. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe most of because most of it, maybe not really so proficient. Uh, like for example, most of it, I'm just adapting most of the codes and try to understand mm. the uh, architecture in it. So far, haven't really tried to write it out. On myself yet, uh, uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, most of it are taking reference. Yes. Mm. How about we work on a project together to learn something together? Oh yeah, Maybe. sure. That's my uh, yeah, sure. That's my honor. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we can get a group. Yeah, I'm also like want to interest to start a, a local group where we can do more detail. So it's no fun. Uh, just go and run somebody else code, right? We don't know what it is. So we it's very good. Is it's actually very important to understand how the code works. Just running it, no fun. <laughs> so if we can use it and work on some project, maybe just for fun at the moment, but maybe at some point, maybe the, the code will be useful. Maybe we can work on something together that somehow can share. Or even though it's not one project, whole group share, but we can have now, within within individuals, we have your own project. It's all right, but at least we can discuss, uh, right? You can share some now, code and discuss. Uh, yeah, <laughs> agree with that. Yes. Yeah, so we need to work on a more technical level so that we can bring ourselves up on the higher level. Because if not, you're always always following. Uh, we do yeah, somebody, so not, everybody, we just follow. Right? Yes, not only not only that, by in terms of in the society, you can also help them more on that. Uh, Correct, 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 correct. Yeah, okay, so good. I think we are in agreement. So the few of us, we can form up and then uh, have a further discussion at some point. Uh. That's good. Because I think a technical group really, I think nobody has formed yet. Uh. Mostly it's on a on high level discussion, you know, about People are interested uh, to do this, but they have not actually gone on a technical level yet. Uh. Uh, actually, there is some uh, active organizations outside. Uh, if you search for in the Facebook or maybe in the Telegram, most of it, like the Kuala Lumpur School of AI, although I didn't really scroll all the messages there because they are actively <laughs> talking too much there. So uh, maybe you can try to join them or something like this. Uh, I have joined the... Yeah. Chaos Core AI, la. they sometimes have talks, la. I I know. Yeah, like, but like I'm not of, Yeah, there are lots of organizations out there. Maybe you can try to get inside. <laughs> Just to learn. It's, it's the yeah. it's the universities, uh the, 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 the universities are, are one section uh, but uh, the others I don't know whether they 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 uh, have this uh, at a technical level of Sharing, I'm not sure at what level they are sharing this 
things are okay. So, so I'm not sure. If you have, then you tell us uh, what's what's happening. Uh, those the other groups that's outside. It actually depends on your interest. Like for example, because I'm still on, I'm still in my learning progress, lah. I mean, I am in my studying progress, although it is going to graduate soon. And then um, I was trying to find like which uh, field was more on my uh, interest and expertise. So I tried to develop mm. on that. So current because currently, I'm more interested on those uh, kind of advanced uh, technique. Uh, skills because this is one of the demands uh, in the uh, society or I can say in the world for now so uh, mm -hmm. yeah so I'm trying to learn more about that uh. yeah you learning on your own uh? uh yes mostly on my own like searching for internet or maybe because I'm actively um, finding like 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 this kind of events I'm trying to uh, actively participate in it like to get to get some sharing or maybe how they do something so that oh i can get i can get like an idea of how i can do it so i can do it at my home uh myself also so got any problems i can just maybe if i have their contacts maybe i can uh get uh, get them in contact like oh uh, can you help me with that or maybe get some suggestions yeah mm. Mm. so how far how far how, how successful is this method of learning? Um, so far, it's quite good. If you say you're a learner, like if you want to focus mm. on something certain, mm. yeah, I think this is mm. this is one of the fastest way out because sometimes maybe like you want to self learning yourself, but sometimes maybe you can't get either you can't get the resources or you have problems on working on with it. So because mostly doing things alone not really say on the efficiency terms wise la. like uh but i can say is that you have limited uh, ability to learn things on own so sometimes by learning together yeah uh, by learning together actually we can can uh, get uh, how to say learn things more faster la, i can say so. for sure for sure for sure especially yeah. if you work on a project you work on a project then you can learn faster if you try to do something, if you just sit down and read, it's very hard. When you start to code, then you start to learn. And yes. of course, coding your own is very hard. Uh, yeah, so majorly I try to learn myself because uh, currently I have uh, something like, um, what do you call that? Like a mini computer, la. it's called the uh, Raspberry Pi. So because that was one, uh, yeah, that was where I start all these uh, codings and softwares. Majorly. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, do you buy the the coral thing? Uh? Uh, the, the cost is quite high for now, like around 500 or 600, yeah. something like that. So, maybe not affordable <laughs> yet for now. But I have to see what's the difference with it versus with the Raspberry Pi. Because what I know is that the Google Coral is more something like more advanced and. Uh, so, it's, yeah, it's, uh, I, it's for, for the. The neural network, I think. Yeah, but the all these things. Yeah, the neural network things. Fast, uh. Yeah, oh, the neural network. Fast, uh. mm, yeah. yeah, there are lots of things that actually can work the same. So it depends which source you're actually taking. Uh. Like if you want the to China out, ones are cheaper. The China also have. Yeah, depends on which one you actually want to work it. Like if you prefer mm. to work in a low cost, then maybe you can just use some softwares. And try to run some codes will be will, will do the work la. because most because the core thing is actually the codes how the core inside yeah so just just that they package the codes like like into like hardware for example like yeah we have the raspberry file or something like that. what we need is <laughs> maybe just the core the core system how it works la. yeah Okay, I think uh, great, great discussion. I think, yeah, at least we meet some people who are enthusiasts and as well as professional in this field. So we can carry on this discussion later on. So coming back to this colorization, anybody has got any result with their own data rather than my, my data? Yeah, 
Has anybody run the, the image output? Uh, I'm, I'm running the... Uh, I'm trying to run my own data. I think I solved the problem already. What's the problem? I think it, when I upload, it generates some uh, hidden files. Eh? Yeah. When I yeah. delete the hidden file, it's okay now. Okay, so share the screen and see. Is there is any color? No, I'm, I, I'm still uh, uploading my data. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And anybody else? Uh, Karen, do you have any output? Karen, Jason? Yeah, I share my screen. Okay. No color, I think. Looks like looks like there's no color, right? Uh it does have is this red because it's all fire extinguished that I choose to train on. To my eyes are like no color. I'm <laughs> I'm colorblind anyway, so I cannot see. So it did color the thing red lah. Yes, it but, the, it but it's not like very red. Yeah, uh, I know this the uh, this there is an issue with this algorithm and also the issue with the file format. It's not saturated, it won't be saturated. If you use the LAB, I think the colors will be better. Hmm. I I use the model one. Um it it didn't hmm. come out with color at all. But if I use oh. model two, it does come out with hmm. a little bit of red. Okay. So, so this model, is the mod, model two model two result. Model two is a slightly more yes, slightly more layers. Uh, so layers, yeah. Uh, so it did a bit better. Uh, can you can you give me your data set? I want to run it with the LAB, but I don't have the, the collab file, but I'll run it on my own on my own PC. Okay, so I, I, I send you later. I send to me later, send to my email. I'll run it at later point. Because I want to see whether this red color should be more colorful. This one is a very I think the, there's a problem with the with this. It's the, not very colorful. That's all. The actual one is this red. Hmm. Oh, it's not that red also anyway. Uh, not that red. And uh, I actually have a very very sharp images, but need to scale down to one to eight times one to eight pixel, right? So it becomes very small and pixelated slightly. It, because for some of the images. Yeah, we, we don't have resource to run a bigger. How many how many epochs do you train it? Can I see your loss? I I train it on uh fifty before, but I put it back to thirty. Also oh, fifty no change, huh? Fifty no uh, effect. Huh? Three three zero uh five zero fifty um, not much. Okay, right. Yeah. Anyway, it's a simple model, but the 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 problem is the the file format uh YUV generally give a very muted color. So the LAB one, you can, the LAB will be more colorful. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Mm, okay, sounds good. This looks good. At least a little bit of result. Anybody else has got some results? Anybody else? Uh, Jason, still running. Uh. Oh, Doctor Lo, just curious, right? I'm. Uh, this is not. Uh, this is off topic, lah. Because we mm. have one. Currently, we have one problem of detecting people is uh, uh, the lighting. Under different mm. lighting, right? They detect as different people. You're trying to recognize yeah, faces recognize uh, people. of person? Uh? No faces, this, this person only. So from the whole body, you want to identify a person, a different person? Yeah, like, like by, by shirt, uh, because so under so we we there are some problem here is let's say if the place right is very really dark, sometimes people mm. turn off the light uh, in mm. the in the store 
and it's very dark, uh, right? Then we uh, cannot we we recognize it as a two different art person instead of but they are actually the same person. No? That one is a very hard problem. You have to <laughs> so they they overlap lah. These two person is overlapping. They are they are not they are close together la. So you you tend to recognize it as one person lah. Is, is uh, not really because they, they will walk around in the storm uh, so we have different oh. video right capture them uh we want to match it as uh because we we do a, a similarity check on these two person but because of mm. the lighting color grading right mm. then mm. uh they recognize as two different person but they actually are the same So they're walk, they're walking around in a dim area. So they're walking around. So at first you can see them see as two person, but once they maybe move together, is it when they move close together, you, you lose the two person, they merge as one person. Is is that what you're saying? No, because we are doing the ANN to uh, group cluster same same person picture right into one group. So you're doing clustering. Yeah. You're doing ANN. I, I the, the audio is a bit I cannot Yeah we we're answer. doing A and N. So uh A &N. we we try to cluster people into same same attire into one group. But then because oh. of the uh, lighting issue, so they but sometimes you, you they go to go under red light, right? Then their color scheme might be different a bit. So we cluster it wrongly. There's no way to fix that uh, if the uh, unless you already train it with the color uh, because how how do I you have to use ex external information uh, I, I guess from from the position from continuity and so on uh. so if you just so for example if you suddenly walking and then uh, you you go under a red light so but but you know that before this person go under red light, he was at a previous position. So you should use the continuity, right? The image continuity. We, we, tried, the, the we tried the Kalman uh, algorithm, but it's too expensive and too heavy to calculate. So then you just do a simple pre prediction on it, a straight line pre prediction or something, because the person walking will not suddenly change direction, right? So if he's walking, then it should be follow the same straight line. Uh, next, if the if the, the the delta distance is not far, then you can model it as a straight line. So then you even though the color change, you should you should logically deduce that it is still the same person because it's continuous from the previous time frame. Something like that. Uh. You have so to the, use the, the centroid. Uh, we, we calculate the uh, predict the centroid of the. Yeah, image. if it's not far from the previous time frame, then it should be the same person. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and anybody has got some other results to show? Jason, you you no issue. But did you run the thing? Do you can you show us the screen? How about Iman, Ame, and Tina? Are I still here? They went back. Yes. Well, I have problems with putting the file into the Google Sheets, but that's because of my browser, probably. But um, so I don't know how to proceed. Maybe put a, I don't know. Maybe you share your screen a little bit so you can see what's wrong. Oh, uh, I'm on the phone with the Zoom, so my screen is um, okay, it's then. separated. Yeah, okay, because yeah, like then the fan goes loud if I have Zoom in a bunch of problems. Um, yes. Uh, but uh, I I do wanna have a question for you. Like um, yeah, on my thesis I was working on time frequency distributions. They were detecting the cycles of um. Uh, 
uh, of time series data. And that was the energy distribution distributed it as an image. But we read the frequency out uh, like uh, graphically instead of numerically. Would it be, that be possible to extract it with machine learning? Or deep learning yes, or whatever? Possible. possible. So you have a time frequency as uh, as uh, what image is that? What what, what kind of image? Uh, it's uh, the the energy is distributed at, like oh, horizontal. energy distribution. Yes. Uh, what what do you call Within that? The Actually, there's a name for it. Right? Uh, you Excuse can me? they they nowadays nowadays they use this um, what do you call that? I forgot what is it called. Anyway, a long time since I've. But yeah, they, they use uh, the time frequency spread or whatever I image, and then they can extract all kinds of things instead of using the time series data, but they use the image data. They, they're doing it very well. Yeah. Okay. Flexible. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. I got resource exhausted error. I think it's something. It shouldn't be res unless your files are too big. If not, it shouldn't be. But oh, Jason, yes. I don't know. Is Jason still there? Uh, yes, anything. You are a student now? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I'm a student, yes. Oh, okay. Mm. So nobody else want to share the output? How about Ahmed and Iman? I think uh, both of you are still here, right? Still got 10 participants. Uh, we, got a, we got a new one, Kri, Kri, uh, just joined. Um, oh, I think he left again. Kri, Kri. Tina, what about Tina? Who is uh, WS Corp? Yeah, it's uh, me. I think it's Winston. 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 Yep. Winston, uh, oh. I, I'm using uh, the other laptop to get the audio. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. So nobody else. Are. Tina was West Tina. Ahmad. So nobody else. So so we nobody else will share. Nobody share. Then we conclude the session in a couple of minutes time. We only got Karen. Vincent, you're still uploading. My data set and some of them are very big, uh, like uh, 2048. The shape yeah. is uh, 327. Yeah. yeah, too big uh, for this small thing. You, you, have, uh, you have GPUs in your workplace to run all these things? Yeah, we use the uh, Google to Google for you. Yeah. So the same thing now, uh, the collab, is it? It's, it's not really a collab, we run it on the VM. Uh. The VM we'll with GPU. Or oh, the VM with GPU. Uh. Yeah. Why you run it with the VM, then we'll slow things, slow things down? Wouldn't it be you run on the VM? Uh, Google, <laughs> because of uh, oh, price. Yeah. If you use, oh, use you the render, uh, you you ran the servers, is it? You ran the Google servers, is it? Yeah. They, they have oh. this uh something like collab, right? But they call it not oh. but that one is very expensive. Oh I see. Oh I see. Hmm? I got how big is your team there in Mexico? Mm. How many people work? I think a lot of people working there. 
uh, there are six data scientists, three ML engineer, and uh, I think three of three uh, data analysts. Oh, what about ML? So you are considered an ML engineer? Or yeah, so basically, what my job is really is like really like a programmer. The data scientists come up with the model, then we make the model into. Oh. So, what platform do they use? Uh, uh platform. Uh, the they they because they also get get the um model from uh from the open source. Uh. So oh. we we only use Keras. Uh. Oh I see. Keras and Open Vino. Hmm, I see. Okay, interesting. Because it's is quite expensive to train your own data. Oh, oh okay, correct. To train for general application is very difficult. You need lots of data and lots of computing power. But if you do a in a niche domain, and then you know, then maybe it's okay. We always the use the pre pre trained model. We don't mm. really train our own model. But applications are limited, lah. If you use what people have created, yeah. Because there are some instances where right, we use other pre trained model. They train on like Caucasian. They cannot mm, detect. Them. Correct. It doesn't detect the Indians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, your face recognition won't work. <laughs> mm. Okay, interesting. So, are, are your people still running the thing or what? So we we almost almost tie up. So the, for those we we talk about uh, Jason, Karen, Vincent. I think we can have a separate meet up again another time to discuss uh, a more private meet up to discuss. Yeah, sure, sure. Ah, um. uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Doctor Lok, by the way, right? Actually, I'm your student. Uh, back in you're my student. Yeah. Vincent? Uh? Yeah. Oh, I, I remember you. La. I remember you. I think you show me your face. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how to share. I think I'm, another of my students is in Maxis also. Yep. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I remember you. I hey. see that with Sui there. Su oh, a long time ago. Uh, Sui. Yeah. So you married now? Uh? Yeah. <laughs> you, just you, didn't, you didn't go to her uh, wedding. Yeah, I didn't go. It was a uh, cannot go out uh, working. Uh. I wasn't in KL. So what were you working at now? Still like that? <laughs> no la, No job now that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Hi, uh, uh Win Winston, we have a question from the audience uh, from the Facebook live chat uh the name okay. called Lex Row. He mentioned okay. that might to share some example of my application message is doing recently. Uh we um because some some of them are proprietary, uh, but what what yeah. can, in general uh we are doing visual, we are doing uh recommendation engine and uh what else? Yeah, basically visual and recommendation engine. This recommendation is for your own use or for uh, so for our own use. Uh, we predict uh, oh. yeah. well to recommend their own their own products. Uh. Yeah. Hey, there's you are not the only so my student working there. There's another guy there. Right? Is there is there any other stu students working? There's oh. one more, I believe. I forgot his name. Um, Canadian, Canadian oh. Muslim, Fahim. Ah, uh, for hey, is he still there? He is. Uh, he resigned already. Oh, he resigned. Yeah. What? Why he resign? When did he resign? Last year. Oh, last year. So where he went? He went back Canada or Pakistan? Don't know. <laughs> oh, don't know. Oh, 
Oh. Okay lah kot lah. We develop some application lah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, with which we conclude the session and nobody wants to share, I think all left ready. Your, no sound. You, you mute your mic. Your mic, Tara. Okay, sorry, sorry, uh, just now I mute. Okay, uh, Dr. Kulut, if you want to keep contact with them, do you mind to share your email in for them, so I that they can follow up with you. In the, in the collab already. Oh, got email already. So you guys can uh, talk to the after this section, uh, in personally or in a group as well. So I think for today's section, I think uh, everyone could get a result. Uh, some of them might not get a good result from, from the color sense uh, in terms of red color. Uh, I'm not sure because I'm not really into the technical part. <laughs> But uh, the red color. <laughs> I cannot see. Okay, uh, but definitely thank Dr. Luke and everyone in the classes right now. We are going to end the section. So um, I have sent the feedback form into the chat. Uh, let me resend again. So feel free to fill out the form and let us know the feedback. Uh, whether you want to join a next workshop, or which kind of, what kind of topic that you would like to discuss in the next workshop kind of thing. Okay, cool. So, um, and also, uh, to end the section, I do have any more comment, uh, Dr. Luke? Any, any viewers are in the Facebook? Uh, not so much, I think less than 10. Who? Uh, who, uh, oh, just now the one who asked the question will be Rex Low. I uh, met him before, he's a full stack AI developer uh, in a oh. fintech company called Revenue Monster. So, uh, hey, he's, oh, share sure, in the Facebook lah. Yeah, uh, but uh, I don't think he can directly comment into the Zoom room. Uh, what did he? What did he ask? Uh, I think just now he asked the question about the message. What messages are doing right now? With oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Definitely, we can uh, ask him to join next time in the discussion. Okay. Uh, right, so we okay. can do more on the workshop plus discussion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of thing. So, yeah. um, yep. Yeah, uh, I think that's all from me. Yeah. And thank you so much all uh, for the participation again. And um, if you guys want to create a group, I do recommend to go into the MyHack AI group. Uh, it's a public group. Uh, I've created it since few years ago. So, uh, if we can consolidate uh, the discussion in there, that would be good because uh, there's a lot, a lot of uh, AI MLDL group out there so uh, if we can just focus on one group on building a community it will be much more better for in, uh, in my sense yeah i uh iman you forgot to mute uh, unmute your mic i think are you trying to talk of course <laughs> it's on the phone now is it or what <laughs> okay uh never mind we can just hello Oh, yeah. okay. thanks, thank you, man. Thanks, Dr. Lok. Okay, see you guys thank next you, time. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Lok. Thank you, thank you. I got, I got an incoming call. Okay, okay. All right, bye. All right.